Hi everyone, Chef PD here. Hey, it's the weekend. I know because I just checked my calendar. I don't know about you, but with this quarantine in place, the days kind of run together. Now week five is over and done with, and we're gonna celebrate it with a very special chicken wings recipe. Who doesn't love chicken wings? I know I do. Uh, and we're gonna do it Dragon House style. Yeah, back in the day, we would go through cases and cases of chicken wings a week. Now I'm gonna show you how it's done. Let's go. All right, here's what you're gonna need. Uh, for me, I have uh, two and a half pounds of wings, about 10 wings. You can also use chicken leg, uh, but if you're gonna do chicken legs, you're gonna need to cut the meaty part open so that it'll cook faster. I have a quarter cup of light soy sauce, quarter cup of rice wine, or any, you can cook uh, using, um, you can use uh, cooking sherry or cooking wine. You have a small lemon, or you have a large one. Five slices of ginger, salt, and white pepper powder. Okay, and I'll show you how to prep these wings now. Okay, now to prep, you're just gonna, there's three parts of the chicken wings. You got the tip right here, you got the actual wing part, and you have the drummy. Okay, we're just gonna give it a, the, the, the tip. You're gonna cut along the, the joint here, and then you're just gonna, Get rid of it. Like that. And then the joint here, just make a little cut and open it up. Now it also lay flat, it won't curl up on you. And I would recommend uh, getting a Ziploc bag or another bowl. Uh, you can marinate it through there. Again, the, uh, the tip, get rid of it. Make a little slice here. You can just pop it. Okay, you got the wings. Now we're gonna salt it. White pepper powder. Basically, you just wanna sprinkle all this thing and feel like that. Now for the ginger. gonna crush it. That'll really get the flavor out. Lemon just cut it in half and then we'll just squeeze the juice in. sauce, cooking wine, a rice wine. Just massage it in real good. stick this in the refrigerator for at least a couple hours overnight is the best and then we're gonna grill it we'll see you in a bit
Okay, I just pulled the wings out. Uh, I've had it marinated for about two and a half hours. Uh, there's a couple of ways we do it at the Dragon House. Uh, one way is to use the uh, same recipe, but we're gonna flour it and then you're gonna deep fry it. And uh, that's the way we, we normally use it for the buffet. But uh, I like this way better because uh, it's less mess. And uh, when you do it at home, you just use the grill. Okay, so basically I got the heat uh, grill heated up to about 375 you, you want to make sure you have two pairs of tongs one for the raw chicken and then the other one for the cooked chicken okay you're just gonna lay it on there Let it grill. We're at the about 10 minute mark. I kind of moved at around 6 minute mark. I kind of moved it around a little bit because there was uh, some hot spots here. So I'm going to flip these. You can see there's a nice browning to it right now. And again, it depends on your grill. If you have some hot spots, you might want to move it. Like this is a hot spot right here. I'm gonna move, move it around a little bit. And it's okay, you can just open it and move it around a little bit, it's okay. And I crank the heat down just a little bit. So it's about 325 degrees now, so. All right, and we'll just let it cook. Oh, okay, we're, uh, we're at about, about a 20 minute mark now. And, uh, and again, I moved it uh, probably around 15 minute mark. Because there is uh, some hot spots here. But it's looking pretty good. Browning up really nicely. This is why you can use the other tongue now to, to start moving around. Probably have another five minutes or so. Okay, we're about the uh, half hour mark. And you want to check. The largest one to see if that's uh, 165. That's what you want to get to inter internal temperature to 165. And we're right at six, 165. Okay, so that's done. Take these out. Okay, let's try it, check it out. Ooh, it's hot. Mm. Turned out really good. It's got a little crisp to it. You can taste the ginger and the lemon and all the seasoning just melts in there and it penetrates it in the, into the, the chicken itself. And it's just excellent. Mm. Okay, so I hope you get to try this recipe out. Whenever I make it, there is never any leftover. And I'm sure it's gonna happen to you. Okay, so make extra, okay? Um, so please, uh, try it out. And uh, I, I would love to hear your comments. Uh, share if you like it, thumbs up. And uh, please subscribe for more recipes. Next time. Great, so a bunch of viewers are interested in buying these black t-shirts, Dragon House t-shirts. So if you're interested, uh, please email me at this address down here right there and uh, let me know what size and quantity you want and then uh, we'll try to get some and uh, get them off to you.